Hi, and welcome to our little workbench here at redstonesupply.com. Uh, my name is Miguel, and I do video production for the website. Now, I'm sorry you can't see my face, I'm a little camera shy, but I don't think we'll need it for the purpose of this video. Today, we're going to be talking about grounding. I should note that this is not a grounding installation tutorial. Rather, this is an overview of the materials you need and the guidelines you should follow when installing a grounding system for your electric fence. The first thing you should know is that the most common cause of problems and poor performance with any electric fence system is insufficient or improper grounding. Proper grounding should increase the lifespan of your energizers and increase the performance of your fence overall. A grounding system consists of two parts. The grounding rods themselves, like the ones I have here, and a lead-out cable, like the one I have here. Always use galvanized rods, never copper ones. Copper tends to cause an electrolytic reaction that will destroy your fence components over time, as well as the energizer. Now for your lead-out wire, try to use insulated wire to prevent any corroding going on within the earth. And for longer distances between your grounding system and your energizer, try to use thicker gauge wire or aluminum wire to minimize electrical resistance. Do not use household wire of any kind. Only use wire that's been rated for electrical fence use. For more portable energizers, where a permanent installation isn't really possible, these three foot grounding rods that we have on our website, product number A35A1, are ideal. They, of course, they're three feet long, so they're nice and short, and they have a T-handle. You can uh, get them in and out of the ground pretty easily and hook up a lead cable to them so you can get to the energizer and establish a temporary system. Uh, for permanent installations, Gallagher actually recommends using a minimum of three six-foot grounding rods spaced 10 feet apart. These are product number A35A. To meet those grounding requirements, you can buy this very handy all-in-one grounding kit. It has three six-foot grounding rods, uh, 50 feet of cable, and three clamps to attach that cable to the grounding rods. And behind me here, I have a super grounding kit, which we sell on the website as well, a product number G88000. Uh, this super grounding kit offers the same performance as three grounding rods in one. And it's a great option for locations where you have very hard earth, where driving multiple rods six feet into the ground is going to prove pretty difficult. When you want to figure out how many grounding rods you're going to use, you need to remember that more powerful energizers are going to need more grounding rods. Now, as a rule of thumb, what you can do to figure out just how many more grounding rods you need is figure out the joule count of your energizer and divide that number by five. We're not going to do that with this one here. This is only rated for 5.6 joules. But for example, on our website, we have an energizer product number MBS2800i uh, rated for 28 joules. If we divided 28 by five, we get 5.6. And you round that number up and you'll find that you need a minimum of six grounding rods for that grounding system. Another thing that's going to affect how many grounding rods you need is how dry or rocky the soil that you're working with is going, to, is going to be. Those you'll need to get more grounding rods for, or you could use a positive negative fence system. Now, a positive negative fence system is using alternating hot and ground wires, with the hot wires connected to the red terminal of the energizer and ground wires connected to the grounding system, the green terminal of the energizer. Now, the grounding wires in the system should not touch the hot wires, but do not need to be insulated from the ground or posts like the hot wires do. Thank you for watching this short overview on grounding. And please keep in mind, you can find all of these materials at redstonesupply.com.